Uh, my name is Bridget Long, and I, my daughter, who's actually fine now, I don't, but she had a vaccine injury when she was 15 months old. So I know the story very well. I, everything that was in the movie was very familiar to me. Um, I think what's devastating is that you're you're trying to get your child better when they're when they're having an injury that first of all you're say that they you're told will never happen in the first place. And then it happens and you're you're presenting it to the doctors and they're telling you, you know, it's nothing, it's normal, it's, but they're they're questioning like as if you're insane and when you don't have a lot of self-esteem, you start second guessing you and not them. And and then it only goes down from there because now you're trying to take care of your sick child. People are starting to question you. Now, you're, now we're talking family members, friends, other people you see. Um, you're, you're, you, you lose jobs because you got to take care of your, your child. So you're, so you're trying to lift your child up to get them better. And meanwhile, your life is, is going downhill. Your family suffers. Um, and I think I, I'm one of the lucky ones. And I will say that. I'm, I, I'm, you know, I, I get to be one of the lucky ones. Uh, and, I, and the reason why I wrote my story is because I think after so many years of feeling not heard, you want to be heard so badly. You're, you're writing stuff down because you want to be heard. And when people, when you see people talking about those anti-vaxxers out there or, you know, we sacrifice people for the greater good, and it's like, that's me. You're sacrificing me. You're sacrificing my children. Why is that okay? And I, I had to write about that. And I had to write about how not only does it take down families, but the way our politics, the way our school systems, the way, the way people are, it's, it's, it's all encompassing. I, I can't go anywhere without having a vaccine something. It, because it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's infiltrated our culture that it's, it's almost the, the propaganda or subtle, even subtle things are just everywhere. Because I notice them now. Now I, don't, now I notice them. Before I would have just saw a poster and I would have gone to the doctor and said, oh, it said I should get that and I should go do that. Now I see a poster and I go, oh, <laughs> I'm being trained. Um, I, I just look at those things a little differently. I also want to tell my story from a place of heart. That's why I, these are symbolic to me, to have heart and the bleeding hearts because to me, this is a human story, and, and we keep writing it off as science. And not only are they misusing that word science, but they're forgetting that we're people, and they label us as anti-vaxxers or, you know, any derogatory name you can possibly think of when we were once well-respected, intelligent, straight-A students, <laughs> for example. <laughs> um, and all of a sudden, you have this one thing go wrong, no one believes you, and then they trash your reputation, kind of like what they did to the people in the movie. <laughs> On a smaller scale. <laughs>